Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to open another subscription box. I know. Surprise! Um, I kind of have a um, problem, I think, and it's beads. Anyway, this one is from Annie's um, subscription box. Annie's uh, beads or all beads or something beads. I don't, I don't know. Um, oh, look, they sent me an envelope. Woohoo! Um, I don't know what the envelope is. Oh, Simply Beads. That's what it's called. Okay. So, um, this is my very first box. I don't know why there's an envelope. I paid on mine, but I have an envelope. Save this. This is your receipt. Okay. I will save you. It's weird because it's like, it feels like it's a sheet of paper, um, like glued to another sheet of paper, which is really weird. But anyway, um, so anyway, it's anniskitclubs.com and the one that we got today is, anything in here? Nope. Okay. The one out. The one that we got today is Annie's Simply Beads Kit of the Month Club. So, um, like I said, I've never gotten this before. I just kind of want to look at all of it all at once. Okay. So there's a warning. You've got to reach for children for adult use only. Does it right there? You see? All right. Um. I do like these bags. They're pretty sturdy. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. I uh, got a bead mat, which is uh, pretty cool. I'm going to put that on top of my bead mat. Bloop. That's, uh, <laughs> that's pretty nice, actually. It feels really cool. Wow. That's a pair of pliers what and it's got the cutters what okay so there's a little bit of grease there so let me i've got a microfiber cloth here i'm just gonna clean that up just a smidge here um just got some grease in there okay um that's pretty cool so there is the round nose pliers uh there's a little hole right there I don't know what that's for. And then the wire cutters right there. I wonder what the hole's for. I don't know. Maybe it will tell me. All right, so this is a piece of cardboard. Don't need that. I like this. This is very cool. Very, very neat. Okay, so. Let's move you in. Ooh. All right, we have a beading guide. So if you're new to beading, that's pretty cool. Okay, introduction to the four in one tool. Okay, so that's, that's this guy here. Looks like, oh wait, there's something else on here that I missed. Uh, I don't know that I got that part. I don't know. Okay, so A, that's that's this guy right here. So it's got, it's showing me a picture right here. The anatomy of the 4-in-1 tool. So A is the round nose. So that's, I, I knew that. The round nose pliers. B is a loop closer. A loop closer. Oh! It says just place the 
and just place your ring in the grooves, making sure the opening is pointed out and apply gentle pressure. Bloop, bloop. Uh, C is this little spot right here, right there, is the flat area. Uh, this area is a bonus. It's great for flattening wire, kinks, or crimps. Um, just watch for the cutter as you don't want to accidentally cut your project. And then D is the this little hole right here. That's the cutter. Okay, that's pretty freaking cool. Like every single time I have a project going on, I have I don't have any tool that does the whole jump ring closer. I don't have any of that. But I have a pair of cutters. I have the um, pliers, the flat nose pliers, and I also have the round nose pliers. But to be fair, a lot of times I'm using them this way. So I'm using one in each hand. But I do like that. That's cool. All right, findings. Crimps. Um, no idea what those are called. Uh, Oolotes? I don't know. I know what they are. I just don't know how to say that word. Crimp covers. Those are cool. Clasps. Um, pins. Rings. So the different pins are head pins and eye pins. Head pins are normally flat or um, kind of sealed off at the end somehow. Eye pins are looped or open. Uh, jump rings or rings rather. Jump rings. And let's see. General techniques, crimping, crimp cover, how to create a simple loop, a wrapped loop, a link, a dangle, how to open and close a loop or jump ring. And it's got some knots here. The length, names, and measurements. A 16 inch necklace is a choker. An 18 inch necklace is a princess. The 24 inch necklace is a manatee, which is this one here. I actually really enjoy making this one. Well, the ones that I normally make are actually between B and C. I normally make like um, the 20 inch necklaces, which are just below the princess necklace, but above the manatee. Uh, the 32 is this one here, which is the opera. And then the E, which is 48 inches, goes all the way down to your waistline. And that is a rope or a word I don't know how to pronounce. Um, says while ropes and lariats don't have to be 48 inches long, this is a common length. And then there's some gemstones. This is nice to have a reference, a quick reference of. Um, it's just got some of your more common, like quartz, um, the agates, amethyst, amber, so on and so forth. Um, and there's some more on the back. This one is really, really, really pretty. I've seen it a few times. I have a couple um, and it is absolutely gorgeous. And then also again, warning small parts, keep out of reach of children. So that is actually really cool. None of my other bead subscription boxes have that. That's pretty neat. And none of them came with tools. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, I can't imagine that every single bead box that you get is going to have um, the mat and the tools, but uh, it is pretty cool that the first one comes with a mat and, um, your tool. So this is not a Ziploc bag. So I'm going to cut this open. I'm gonna take the tray out. And do I want to go this way? I think so. All right. So hard board again. This is going to smack the camera. My bad, you all right, so this one is called Viola. It says, find endless combinations with this mix and match set that includes beautiful amethyst, rose quartz, and moonstone beads. Very cool. So it tell oh, it has a bead key for you. So 
It has amethyst teardrops, 30 millimeter by 40 millimeter. That would be this bad boy right there. Let's see, can we open you up? Oh, we can. Check that out. All right. Oh, look at you. You're pretty. Well, um, there we go. It needs to be polished. It's got like a weird film on it or something. It needs to be cleaned. But yeah, there's a there's an interesting polish on it, and this is just a microfiber cloth. Uh, nothing special and anyway so I'll be cleaning that off um, so this one here is the 30 by 40 millimeter and these are 15 by 10 milliliter milliliter no it's not liquid millimeter um, Those are really pretty. Those are really dark for amethyst. I said they're amethyst, but they look really dark for amethyst. They look very magenta-y. Okay, and then the moonstones are six millimeters. Those are pretty. Bloop. Those are really pretty. Y'all yeah, have to let me know if you guys are interested on in seeing me actually make anything with these boxes. Because as it sits right now, I've just been kind of showing you the boxes and then showing you, you know, some of the things that I've done afterwards. Um, these here are Rose Quartz Rondelles. These are 6 millimeter by 12 millimeter. Okay, I'm not keeping these bags, so... Those are really pretty. And I like how it's got the little trays, kind of keep everything separated. Keep it separated. Sorry. Anyway, um, by Garo chain, which would be, oh, they're both here. This one. As the Figaro chain. That's a very long chain. Like that, there's a lot in there. It's very pretty. Very gold. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not going to open this one because I don't want it to get super tangled up. But it's it's another gold chain. And this one's the satellite chain, is what they're calling this one. Um, let's see. There are ear wires with plastic stoppers. That would be these guys. There is three. Very interesting choice. Um, there's three. <laughs> okay. That is definitely an interesting choice for that. Uh, let's see metal rounds. These are three millimeter metal rounds Okay um, Jump rings five millimeter here and eight millimeter here So these are just hardware so I'm not taking them out right now uh, Let's see spring ring clasps all right so there is a boatload of those okay and then there are two <laughs> two lobster claw clasps okay and eye pens here 
and ball tipped head pins here. Looks like there's four, there's five, and that's it. And it says you'll also need a beading mat or board, four in one tool, and a ruler. Um, it has a helpful hints, general techniques. Um, so it actually gives you directions in order to create this necklace right here. So I don't know that I'm going to create this necklace actually, um, but I'll make something. Oh, and these earrings. Um, yeah, I don't know why it gave me three earrings. But anyway, that's it. That's the Annie's Simply Beads Kit of the Month kit. Um, I believe this is for March. Um, I did get this in March. So I assume that it's for March. I have no idea. But anyway, I'm going to work on some things to make with this. I'm also going to work on things to make with um, some of the other kits that I have currently and i will get back with you guys on some of the finished products and like i said if you guys are interested in seeing me actually create some of the um jewelry pieces then let me know because i can definitely do that on camera um so far i haven't really done that um mostly because i don't know if there's really an audience for it but um obviously i enjoy doing it so um yeah, just let me know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys.